Cones and I's legendary invite, Kobe D's EP tour, and Angie McMahon's very fun. Here's all you need to know with Aria Amplified. The Kid Leroy has kicked off his return home as the pre-game entertainment for the NRL Grand Final in Sydney. How are you feeling, bro? Excited. I feel like a little kid. His powerful set included a surprise cover of Never Tear Us Apart by NXS, along with all his hits. So good. Fisher has been crowned International DJ of the Year at this year's DJ Awards in Ibiza, where he was quick to thank his fans. We have the club, we have the artists, but without the fans, we are nothing. So thank you so much. Australia's next surefire export has got to be pop prodigy Oliver Cronin. He's just released his new EP, Halfway to Paradise, and I was lucky enough to attend the launch. I love this record, but enough about me. The date for this year's Oz Music T-shirt day has been announced and you can show your support for Support Act. Get your shirt ready for Thursday, November 28th. And the dates for this summer's Laneway Festival have been announced and the lineup drops this week. Billboards have been popping up everywhere in a familiar shade of green. I wonder if that's a clue. Yes, I am high maintenance, but I think you got to be. It's been a wholesome week online with Angie McMahon posting her efforts creating this magical fairy garden. Dice have shared their lead singer, Ben, making a feathery friend. And a bunch of acts have been having a crack at singing Do Re Mi. Sorry. Stream my new EP. It's called Canina. It's on Spotify. If you've already streamed Miss Canina's EP, you'll know track one is a tune. This song is called Black Britney. And it's up for three arias this year, including the publicly voted best video presented by YouTube, alongside nine more cracking acts to consider. So once you're done watching this, be sure to head on over to aria.com.au slash vote and have your say. Miss Kanina is set to join Kobe D in Tassie next week for his Chapter 26 EP launch tour. Her vocals feature on his track, Lifetime. Listening to her sing, she's got such a powerful and amazing voice. Just made it sound so beautiful, you know? Another track you don't want to sleep on is Barker's Big Mood, featuring Kobe D. It's a huge congratulations to Casey Chambers, who received a standing ovation at this year's Australian Women in Music Awards in Brizzy, where she received a Lifetime Achievement Award. I can honestly say that I've never not felt more supported than I do right now in the music industry. And congrats to Vance Joy as well, whose album Dream Your Life Away has been certified double platinum in the States, meaning he sold a whopping two million copies. I'm very grateful that people are still listening to this 10 years after the fact. He's just wrapped up his US tour with two sold-out shows at New York's Radio City Music Hall, where none other than Noah Cyrus dropped by to perform their collab, Everybody Needs Someone. I started out singing Vance Joy songs in the coffee shop down the street from my parents' house. That landed me a record deal. Tones and I has been blown away by an invite to head stateside next month to open for the one and only Cindy Lauper's farewell show in LA. And speaking of fun, Teen Jesus and the Gene Teasers are touring the USA right now for what's sure to be the first of many overseas jaunts. It's our first time in California. They performed at California's Ohana Festival and were invited to join headliners Pearl Jam on stage, who they'll be supporting back in Oz next month. That's this week's Aria Amplified. 